you've succeeded in bankrupting us. That money was mine as well as yours. But nobody bothered to get my consent. Your belated reverence is very touching. Respect? Pride? For whom? Perhaps for the honor of our great-great-grandfather, the respectable Colonel Jaffrey Pynchon. 200 years ago, he privately boasted of successfully murdering one Matthew Maul in order to steal this land from him. Hail to thee, guiding spirit! Perhaps we should bow our heads in memory to Ethan Pynchon, noble soul. He held high rank in Washington's army and proved his patriotism by secretly selling supplies and military information to the British. I fairly burst with pride when I recalled Jonathan's contribution to Pynchon tradition. He made quite a fortune for himself after soldiers were discharged from the Revolutionary Army by cheating them in shady land deals. And here, our late lamented grandfather, who schemed with John Henry before the War of 1812 for the secession of Massachusetts from the United States to join her with Canada, because this country disapproved of his illegal investments. By all means, let us sacrifice ourselves to such traditions.